Hey, story tell storytelling wrong. I'm gonna try something here. Um, what I've got here is, is three movies or a series, and then a, just a the most gruesome horror film. So this is about horror. This is about gore in our society and how we're accepting it. Um, and I'm not here to, you know, I don't really like horror. Gory horror films are not really my thing. And but I'm not here to necessarily censor them or anything like that. I'm just. I feel like. Um, you know, I was I grew up in the '70s and '80s, and they there was a there was a lot there that they kind of when the VHS uh, rentals came out, and there was a lot of access to horror films. Like even us kids could get, and I was kind of like, what the heck is going on here? You know, as I got older, like why are we doing this? Why are we allowing, and not even aware of this access that kids have to horror films and gruesome stuff? But the, I want to get to this. Um, th this whole gladiator thing is um, something we're sort of forgetting is that. This is a pagan culture. This is the culture right before Christianity took over. And this is the pagan culture that wants to return. Ergo, the, all these horror films that are coming out now, uh, or that have been out, you know, since the 70s and 80s when things kind of got loosened, the, the moral codes and all that, right? We had moral codes where we really weren't allowed to show that stuff. It's, at least it wasn't that publicly available. But in the 70s and 80s, when when the ACL and all that started really fighting for freedom of speech, they started fighting for grotesque no, stiff stuff. And again, I grew up with that, so I'm kind of, you know, Passion of the Christ and uh, uh, Mel Gibson's film, Passion of the Christ, Apocalypto are two of my favorite films, and they are they are as gory as these. But they're, but the problem with them is that they're showing the actual paganism as it is, and, and then the, um, the adverse or the, uh, the opposing force of Christianity in them. Uh, whereas these are just just having fun with just it's all you know this is like happiness to to us to the modern pagan because there's no christianity in these um but F F spartacus is is this is, is this this is done 15 years ago uh this was an incredibly gruesome film it's all about slavery it's all and it's and i kind of i actually liked it because i was turning into a christian at that time and i was watching this and i actually oh, there's an incredible amount of sexual scenes uh orgies and you know roman thing and I, it was interesting. I, I really did lose. In, I was like fast forwarding through that stuff. I was not interested in the sex scenes. I wanted to see the gore and the violence and the story. The sex scenes, I, I liked it in the sense that, yeah, the pagans, Christianity ended this. <clears throat> Christianity said this is a sin. But for them in the Roman times, this was absolutely not a sin. To putting people through torturous, horrific, horrible deaths for entertainment was not a sin to pagans and it's not a sin to pagans today uh you know maybe it's consensual a lot of uh you know some of these were slaves war war slaves so that's con that's considered consensual because they're bad <clears throat> you know all pagan has to do is peg you as a white supremacist racist hitler-like fascist to put you into the gladiator arenas that's all they gotta do they just gotta say you that's what you are since they think since that's what they believe you are they have termed you that they can put you into the arenas now because everything's fine and hokey dokey for them See, as a Christian, we can't do that. We we can say you're a child murderer um, and you want to murder uh, unborn children, but we can't just go out and kill you. We can't just throw stones at you. We have to, as Christians, figure out a way to end this without uh, like a violent revolution, you know, without bombing you or anything like that. We're, we're not we're Christians. We 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 can't cast stones at you. We can't throw stones. Darn it! Freaking Jesus and his rules and his things. We as Christians cannot throw stones at you because you're murdering babies. That sucks because my religion, in my in the Ron religion, I could pull out a battle axe. Um, but in the Christian religion, which I am a part of, yeah, we can't. I can't do that. So we as Christians cannot go around murdering you because you're murdering babies. We cannot throw you into gladiator arenas and use you for sport. However, as a pagan, if you term us as fascist and Hitler-like and all that, you can then deem us as inferior and throw us into the gladiator arenas, right? And maybe that makes perfect sense. So it's actually a good thing for you when you say that we're racist or white supremacists, and you know whether it's true or not, it's actually a good thing because then you can just go ahead and, and treat us like horrific slaves. Say you know you can do sadistic, masochistic things on us, torture us. Uh, and feed us to lions for your entertainment purposes and feel good about it because you know we're racist fascist hitler like mini hitlers because you deemed it so so if you deem that we are that way you as a pagan and, and, and you know you're a mini god you you can do your own thing and decide that then yeah you can throw us christians into the 
uh, to be eaten by crocodiles, alligators, hippos. I mean, you know, whatever fa you fancy, see the gruesomeness of our death and, and for your entertainment. Perfectly fine. Yeah, we Christians can't do that, though. Man, maybe I should be a pagan. Just don't believe in God. Believe in me. I can save myself. I decide I'm a good person. I pick the gods that I want to worship or not worship because I myself and my philosophy are good enough that I can decide who I, you know, that I'm a good person and, and then whoever is a fascist and supremacist and all that. I can decide that for myself and put you and make you an inferior person and, you know, hopefully get enough men to send you to the arenas. Gladiator. So anyway, stars here. <clears throat> um, it's, it's an incredible story, actually. Um, if you're a Christian and you want to watch it, I mean, there's a lot of nudity, like soft porn, a lot of gore, a lot of bad CG gore, but I just, you know, I'm into that stuff. But anyway, I'm not into the porn part, but I'm, um, <clears throat> ask my wife, my tired wife. Okay. Uh, uh, so, yeah, sex scenes in here. Uh, she was pretty hot. Um, but a lot of gore, yeah, a lot of violence, a lot of, you know, let's kill and maim. I mean, there's no Jesus. There's no Christianity. This is, this is, this is a time when... I think I think um, I think Christ had died, but Christianity had not yet come in yet. I think, um, but uh, yeah, it's a good, really pretty cool, pretty cool series. I mean, very torturous man. Um, and then of course we got uh, you know the the new Gladiator movie coming out. It's all pagans. They're all killing each other. Look at that. They're all just doing entertainment, whatever. I mean, why not? Why not have the subjugation of people, violence of people? Um, decide, you know, for, for entertainment purposes. Why not? I mean, really, you know, and having a, having a, a dictators who can really torture you, do whatever they want. They have absolute power. Um, you know, there's no God, there's no Jesus and they can pick and choose. Remember as a pagan, all a pagan, you can pick and choose your gods. Um, I think in Islam, the imams and all have all power and all that, whatever. I don't go to Islam. I'm just, let me just focus on this. So this is run, this is what pagans want to return to and what is a pagan today anyone that uh, thinks they they can pick and choose their gods that's a paganism um you you can be yourself you're god you're the god there's no other gods i mean you can choose that if you want and you can you can say celebrities are gods or or the you, you know your court system or your political party is the god uh, the government is god that's a god you can pick that uh you can have evil gods like the gun is an evil god to you and you know should be banished or whatever um and then now uh a series is coming out on um Peacock called Those About to Die. And this, of course, looks just as gruesome and, and you know, political and um, manipulative as well. As well. And, and this is cool. You know, hey, look, a black character. Oh, my gosh, I don't want to watch this. Got a black character. No, I totally love this because, yeah, definitely black gladiators uh, being subjugated as well in, in, in a story. Now, I, I do want to watch this because I'm in, into this kind of stuff. Um, but at the same time, it's all pagans. Pagans, sorry, pagans, pagans fighting pagans, pagans screwing over pagans, pagans uh, backstabbing pagans. I'm wondering or hoping, you know, will there be a, a Christian message in there at all? Will there be anything? Oh, you know what? Another another show or movie, epic movie that um, um, has the gladiator thing is, oh, what is it called? The Robe? No. Is that it? The Robe? No. I can't remember. Anyway, um, the Charlton Heston one and they did a remake that bombed. But look, they can just, for entertainment. So I read or, or heard in a podcast, I'm not sure, but when the... Um, when they fed the, the, the Christians to the lions or whoever they wanted to, slaves or whoever, you know, whatever was fun to watch, getting eaten alive by the lions or whatever animals, they would cut open the lions to look at the body parts to see what, what they look like for their humor, to, to laugh at that, to, to have fun with that. that. They would do that. That was part of the, their amusement. Um, why not? I mean, you can pick uh, the gory god. Pick the gory god, and you can do that. See, paganism, yay! If you pick, if you worship the gory god, then you can um, cut people up, you know, and yay! Um, so now I'm coming to the last bit here. I'm, I know I'm torturing you, torturing myself here um, about horror films. Do I hate horror films? N no. Well, you know, I I, I don't even I don't watch it. Okay, I, uh, so there's a ton of gory horror films. One thing I do like about horror films today is that there's a lot of opportunity for freaks to go and watch the making of. And when and when you watch the making of these films, you get to see that people are normal. They're laughing at their at their makeup and gore and, and having a good time. So I kind of like that aspect of it that, you know, you can show, hey, we're going to have this gross, disgusting, scary movie. 
but then look, I'm a normal guy here with, and I have a daughter, even though I'm a you know sadistic murderer in the movie kind of thing. So maybe you know that's kind of neat if, if that kind of um, element is always produced as well. But again, with these horror films, we're just um, we're really creating a society where you know, like uh, what what's that big one? Twilight? Is it no? It's Twilight. Whatever one with what's her face doing all the killing, kids killing each other. What's that? What's that one called? Oh my gosh, it's not Twilight. I don't watch it, so it's, you know what I'm talking about. There's shows that are coming out now where they're having these. Lo- oh, the in the one on Netflix where they have. I should have put that in here. Um, where you know they have. Oh my gosh, you know I'm getting old. I can't. They, these things don't come out the top of my head now. Uh, I'm gonna pause and, and get them in my head real, real quick. Uh, yeah. So the Hunger Games is the one where you know they're killing each other. I, I didn't watch the. Sh- I didn't watch it, so I don't know total everything you know wonderful about it. But it's all about killing each other. It's about this, uh, uh, you know, paganism. And then, of course, a squid game, right? Squid game is like, hey, you know, giving us that moral moral decay of it all and trying to, you know, get you to even ponder, oh, would I, would I brutally, gruesomely kill myself for entertainment? So these films are coming out, these shows are coming out to, 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 to really to sell this now to all of us and make it sort of a mainstream idea, right? Would a Christian, would a Christian make any of these shows like would they say oh i want to come out with a show about gruesome killing gruesome human killing contests gruesome gladiator contests would they do that or a horror film where the hor- with the where the guy gets away with the horror and promotes the horror or whatever the gruesomeness do you think a christian like a really you know a hardcore crazy christian like me do that i guess i would probably be the closest because i kind of like stuff like you know this i mean i don't really i don't really like that kind of stuff but um, I, I like more of the the battle stuff, you know, where there's gr- where they depict the gruesomeness in a in a realistic manner, like like Apocalypto. I felt was really the gruesomeness, and that was just ouch, you know. But I liked it because it had that oomph, um, you know, by Mel Gibson. So uh, my point being, we're turning back to this. We're turning back to a gladiator. I mean, all these films are coming out about the gladiator things. There's no, there's no films coming about coming out about the, how Christianity changed the world, uh, about how the cathedrals and churches all across Europe changed the world, changed Europe for the better. Um, there, there's not a film like that. Oh, I do have to bring out this one film. Uh, I've got to bring it up, and, and and this is a good thing. At that, this is a good thing. Uh, one film that I really enjoyed that was close to it, and what I'm going to now bring up is my point of this thing. All right, this film is called The Promised Land. And I didn't even know I was going to do this on this, but I just came. It just came. This is a really good film. Christians, watch this film. I really enjoyed this film. Um, it's slow and beautiful. Definitely a great wife film. Um, it's done, it's in Danish, but it is an, a, a really cool, good film. Good ending too. Uh, you know, I don't know if that's a spoiler alert, but they they depict Christianity in it, and they depict it in a way that I really was impressed with. Um, and I want to, and then not even this specifically about this film, and. Um, but I just want to talk about Christianity. I, go see The Promised Land or watch it. It's on um, Hulu. Um, but I really, and it's on Prime Video. You can rent it for three ninety nine. I really, really enjoyed that film. And I, and the Christianity is very good. You guys are going to appreciate it. It's light, but it's good. But there's no evangelism in it. And that's the one thing about it that I think was missing and that no film has. But yet we know was immense part of the church history and European history, and yet is like 100% ignored. Ignored. They're throwing out all these gladiator films. They're throwing all these whatever films, or you know, European films about war and Napoleon. But there's no films about what actually were the true essence of European history and why Christendom survived in the white world, part of the world, whatever. White skin color part of the world. Um, and that's evangelism, church planning. That spread and survived in, in the West and in, in West in Europe, and that then you know went on to America. But there's no films about that. How that changed these people. Imagine that th- th- there was a Christian who went, walked out into the Gladiator Arena and said, "This is wrong," and he and, and they killed him. But he killed that the Gladiator Arenas. After that, the the Christians that were there realized, "Wow, what we're doing." See, even when could, people were turning to Christians. They still were addicted to their Star Wars. I mean, their Marvel. I mean, their D and I mean, their Gladiator thing, or or my horror film. You know, I don't. I'm not actually. I don't like horror films. But they were still addicted to that, 
And it wasn't until this guy went out there in the middle of a fight and was executed, you know, killed there, um, that changed that the world. Changed the world. Because remember, those laddie arenas were all spread, spread out all across pagan Europe. So the Christians had to go in and, 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 that, and that all throughout Europe. There were you know, arenas set up at wherever. Why not? So if you want to relive that yourself in a role-playing game, check out the Dark Ages. Um, uh, it's my attempt at getting you guys to realize that you can have a Christian evangelistic church planning role-playing game. Um, you know, so uh, that's my little long babbling video again. And uh, at the end here, uh, that's it. I've, I went too long. Okay, in the game of life, roll holy dice.